In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of how to log food in the Berrytastic app. From your home screen, you're going to click on the red track button at the bottom. That will bring up your trackers, and from there, click on daily log. It's the dark blue button at the top. From here, you're going to see different meals. By default, you'll start with breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. And if you want to add additional meals, you can do that in the settings section. To get there, you would click on the main menu, then click on settings, and then there's an option to customize your meals. There's another video that'll show you how to do that. But for today, let's go ahead and log some food. I'm going to go ahead and click the add food button for my breakfast. And from here, there's a variety of ways to add. If you're having a packaged food item, we recommend using the barcode the first time you're going to log a food item. That way you can ensure you get the correct food item. At the top of the screen on the left, you'll see the barcode scanner icon. Go ahead and click on that. That will open up your phone and allow you to look at the food item that you want to scan. Usually on the back of the package is the barcode. Show that clearly to the app and the app will pick up that food item. Double check that it looks correct. There's at the bottom of the screen here, you'll see an option to change the timestamp. That's in case you're going back to log something from earlier in the day. And there's an option at the top to change how much of that food item you had. In this case, I'm just going to say that I had 0.5 of that food item. I'm going to click the check mark on the top right to confirm. Um, and in many cases, you can also change the type of serving. Um, for some packaged foods, though, like this one, you'll see bar and gram are the only two options. Um, in most cases, food items have a lot of different options, including cups, ounces, etc. However, some packaged food items only give us two options. So I'm going to say that I had half of that bar and click the check mark in the top right hand corner to log it. And you'll see those details pop up. At the top of the screen, you'll see some metrics that show your nutrients of the food items that you've logged for the day. You'll also see a pie chart. And then on the top left here, if I scroll further, I can move to an area that allows me to customize this area. If I want to maybe move my calories or let's say sugar, uh, to the top, I can drag my finger on that item. So hold your finger on the item and then drag it up. And sugar will be now be in the top left hand corner of this screen here. And you can see proteins number two and then the rest to follow. I'm going to scroll down again. And now for my mid morning snack, I'm going to log the rest of that. But let's say I tossed out the package. And frankly, once you've logged something once, it's much easier to actually just click add food. And then in the search bar at the top, tap in that go ahead and type in three letters of that food item that you just logged. And you can see it shows the history um, of the items that you've logged. So once you've logged something once, it's much easier to log in the future. And you can just type in a couple letters of that product and it'll find it for you. I'm going to click on that. And it's already set for 0.5 because that's what I logged last time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark. And now for my mid-morning snack, I've indicated that I've had the second half of that bar. I'm going to click on add food for lunch. There's a number of different ways to log food. Um, I actually really like the microphone when I'm eating food and I have a plate of food, non-packaged foods, um, and I want to log them all quickly and at once. If you are out and about and can't speak into the microphone, you can actually tap in this area here and simply type everything as you would using natural language. I had two bananas. I had you know three eggs, whatever you want to say here. And using a, a natural language algorithm will actually pick up those foods and the quantities and log them for you in a matter of seconds. So quick and easy to do. But again, for me, I prefer the microphone. It's really easy to do. So I'm going to tap on the microphone icon in the top right corner. Half a cup of cottage cheese, one tablespoon of honey, six ounces of blueberries, and a handful of almonds. Double check that what is shown here matches up with what you are eating. If there are changes, you can tap and then make changes uh, using your keyboard. I'm going to click the submit button because that looks fine to me. And then scrolling down to our lunch, you'll see those almonds, two ounces, which is approximately a handful. Blueberries, six ounces, which I mentioned. Honey, one tablespoon, and then that half a cup of cottage cheese. You could be more specific and say low-fat cottage cheese if you wanted to. You could scan the package of the cottage cheese if you really wanted to as well. Now, if I wanted to go back and delete an item, I can click the delete button below the food um, or the meal. And it's going to pop up a bunch of red minus signs. And then let's say I decided not to have that honey on there. So I could go ahead and 
remove that honey um, by tapping on that red minus sign. I'm going to tap the delete button again, and it will get rid of those red minus signs. And you can see everything has been logged. Now I'm going to go back one more time. I'm going to click on add food. And um, in the search bar at the top, this is going to allow you to log uh, food items quite easily that are common. So for instance, let's say you have a Honeycrisp apple. I can come up here, I can type in Honeycrisp. Right. And then um, Honeycrisp is actually a branded food item. Um, so I can see under branded foods, it says Honeycrisp apples. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. I will say one medium. There's a variety of options here. Actually, it's medium or gram in this case. Um, but I could say maybe I had 1.5 if it was a bigger than average one. Um, and I can go ahead and click the check mark in the top right hand corner. And now what it's done is it's logged that Honeycrisp apple for me as well. Um, and as we get into using the app more on various videos, we'll show you how to copy foods, create meals, create recipes, those sort of things as well. Scrolling down to the bottom, you'll notice a place uh, to track your bowel movements. This is your daily log. Um, you can also check off whether or not you've had your vitamins for the day um, in this area. And if you've connected your devices, an app like Apple HealthKit, uh, you can see those daily steps. That's it for this video. Thank you.